I think it has something to do with my original interest as a kid in Hellenistic sculpture surfacing more and more and more. I mean, that's the stuff I always loved. And of course, if you were making art in the 70s, you know, if you began, uh, or if you even began making art in the 60s, there was not very much to encourage the idea of um, Baroque narrative or Hellenistic <laughs> narrative in the environment. I met John Flynn Silver about 1967 and 1968, and he was just at the beginning of working on Heads then. As my friendship with him evolved through the 70s, I sort of lived through these particular works. And then as, as he became fairly well known in the mid to late 80s, he, he became known primarily for the very expressive three-dimensional figures. When you work in, uh, in this fashion, or in a fashion which really ultimately derives from abstract expressionism or cubism, you work with components, and in the course of making the work, the image resolves itself. So you arrive at a certain point when that's that, when you feel the components are in balance or, or whatever. It's an improvisatory way of working which arrives at its own conclusion. When you get into that idea of collage and embedded in things, everything seems to you full of, uh, full of possibility, you know? So anywhere you go, you come home loaded down with crap. Yeah. Uh, you, you're completely at the mercy of anything you see in the street. Yeah. I'm a sculptor. I met Jonathan in 1984. He was my teacher at the studio school. And from uh, the mid-80s on, I worked with him in his studio doing casting work and then helping him set up his installations. Uh, and I always was absolutely fascinated with uh, this series of works which was piled up on the shelves in the studio and was never really seen. I remember his studio, it was so many molds, plasters, before they're broken up or used to make molds from. And and plenty of bronzes. In some cases, the plasters were, were finished pieces, and in other cases, he hadn't yet cast. It's sort of strange, the idea to me, you really start with heads. The head sort of splits apart, and it becomes fragmented, and it turns against itself, and moves in different directions. And then from the head, the figures, the, the full-length body, grew up and then the, the body sort of grew up more and more in the round. Uh, and then from that you, you wind up with complex installations, but it all sort of came out of the head. <laughs>